please join me in giving a warm Penn and Annenberg welcome to Maria Ressa. The last time we talked about me coming back here was when right before the lockdown began. We were in Camden together talking about, oh my God, where's the world going? And how is information, like, how has it been weaponized against us? Um, how are we being manipulated? And now we're here. For me, it is about the battle for facts. The three sentences I've said repeatedly over and over and over since 2016, if you can't have facts, you don't have truth. Without truth, you don't have trust. Without these three, we have no shared reality, we cannot solve any problem together, and we cannot have democracy. If you want to rip the heart out of a democracy, you go after facts. That's what modern authoritarians do. Step one, you lie all the time. Step two, you say it's your opponents and the journalists who lie. There's a reason why the journalists were attacked first. Step three, everyone looks around and says, what is truth? There is no truth. That's really what they want you to do. And then the fourth, the resistance is impossible and the game is over. If we don't have integrity of facts, how do we have integrity of elections? What happens when geopolitical politics comes into play? When inciting your fear, anger, and hate can lead to the January 6th, Capitol Hill. When you have trust in the room, anything is possible. When you don't have trust, nothing is possible. We don't have trust. <laughs>